Hello there and uh, welcome to this first video of 2009. Uh, let me wish you very happy new year, very prosperous new year hopefully as well. And um, got a few things to talk about. I'm going to show you some charts in a little while. Um, but before I do that, really I wanted to talk about the new year because uh, this is traditionally a time when people look back at what they've achieved over the last year and probably look forward as well to what they're hoping to do in the in the coming year, set New Year's resolutions, that kind of thing. And this is something what I've talked about previously in emails, but I'm going to talk about it again because I think it's so important. Um, over the years, as I've been coaching traders, I've noticed three different kinds really of people um, and what I call these kinds of people. First of all, what we've got are what I call the doers. Now these are people that start the year with very clear plans in mind, very clear goals. And they'll look back on their previous year and and uh, with a certain sense of satisfaction, no doubt, will look back and see all of the goals that they set themselves 12 months ago have now been realised and they'll now go and set their goals for the next 12 months ahead. So these are doers, as I say, and uh, these are people that are pretty much in control of their lives. They know what they want and they know how they're going to get it. That's the first group that I've noticed. Second group of people what I've noticed are what I call the hopers. And in some ways these people are a lot like the doer group of people. They'll start the year full of ambition and full of hope and uh, they'll have lots of plans uh, about what they want to achieve in the year ahead. It might be that they're going to find a new partner or start a family or move home or uh, possibly change their career or make a lot of money. But uh, the hopers do have one big difference with the uh, the doers and that is that they'll look back on the last 12 months and what happened, and wonder what happened to all of their, their hopes and uh, and their dreams and goals from a year ago. They were confident of making a change in their life, but somehow life seemed to get in the way of that change and it, it just never happened. And these people, these hopers, aren't in control of their life. Uh, They're actually controlled by their life. And that's the difference between hopers and doers. And then the third group, what I've noticed, are what I call the no-hopers, which is probably uh, quite unfair because it's not necessarily that these people have no hope uh, it's that they just may not have any particular plans or goals um, maybe they don't know what they want from their lives or more often than not it's just that they're quite content with uh, with their life as it is at the moment and they don't see any reason to change that or that perhaps they just don't think that they can change their life so that's what I call the no hopers so the question is which one are you? Which category do you fall into? You're a doer or are you perhaps a hoper or are you a no hoper? And I suspect that most people watching this will fall into the middle category. They're hopers. They're people that have lots of plans or want to make a change but for whatever reason don't necessarily make that change. And I know that speaking personally I was always a hoper for a very very long time I was a hoper I was in the day job grind I've spoken about this before um, so I won't, I won't dwell on the point but uh, I do understand what it's like being a hoper and the trouble is you know at the start of the year I'd say to myself this this is going to be different this year this year I'm going to find a way to make some money on my own this year I'm going to get out of the system uh, I'm going to change my life and uh, and make some money by myself and the trouble is by February or March, you know, you're back into the old day-to-day -day routine and uh, your plans are either forgotten or maybe just not forgotten but pushed to one side because you're too busy getting on with, with normal life. Um, and that's that's what the problem's like. It's like uh, life, you're hurtling along at, at full speed and you can see a better life uh, somewhere off in the distance but you don't think that you can reach it because you're too busy hurtling along with, with your existing life. But uh, what I never realised at the time, and it took some time for me to discover this, is that actually changing and getting off that track or off that road onto, uh, onto a different path is actually quite easy. It only takes a very, very small nudge, just a very 
tiny effort, in fact, can can set you on a whole new path. And for me, I made that change by setting aside just one hour a week to learn about day trading. I made the commitment to myself that whatever else happened, I would take at least an hour a week and I would uh, read as much as I could, uh, learn as much as I could and practice and actually get on with it and do it. Uh, and that really is what made the change from being a hoper into a doer. It's, I mean, it, it sounds pretty obvious, but doing is, is what makes the difference. And uh, it's it's not a big change. Once you actually make that change, you look back and you think, well, why didn't I do this earlier? You know, um, something very, very special happens once you make a commitment to yourself to do something. Um, if you've watched The Secret or if, if you believe in the Law of Attraction or anything like that, you'll know what I'm talking about. Um, and I don't want to get um, I don't want to get into that too much because uh, different people will have different beliefs on this. But um, just the fact that you make a, a commitment to yourself, things things start happening. You start meeting the right people. You start uh, falling across the uh, the right websites. Uh, just in in your own way, you'll discover what you need to do to uh, to progress. So as I say, for me, that that change came about by taking one hour a week and committing that hour to um to learning as much as i could about trading so the question then is what are you going to do this year um have you got goals have you got plans uh, and if you have do you have a, a set plan on how you're actually going to achieve those goals and plans or are you going to get to the 31st of december and look back and wonder what happened so uh, on that possibly negative note let's move on and look at uh, some charts because i do want to get some charts into this video